Okay, you watched the first round here with Dr. Trowbridge, and he said something that nobody else has said, and I love the analogy. They say that the animals ran uphill, you know, during the Japanese tsunami, and people, you know, five minutes before were wondering why dogs and goats and everything were running uphill. Animals have some innate ability just to know when things are happening. Is it time for us to run uphill? Dr. John Trowbridge now helps answer that. He did mention, look, common cold, uh, herpes, uh, uh, this enterovirus that kids are being exposed to. There's a lot of viri out there. So, what are you doing, Dr. Trowbridge? I know you've got some lovely daughters and lots of, lots of patients and lots of friends. What are you recommending people do right now before the wave starts? You know, it's really quite simple, Doug. You're not going to get this by walking around outside. You're not going to get this by staying in your house. You're not going to get this over the telephone or the TV. You're going to get it from contacts. Now, here's the glitch. The contact can be person to person. You know, someone coughs in the elevator and all the air droplets go. Oh, let me, let me just say this, Doug. Everything you hear about Ebola, TV, news, Internet, whatever, it's a lie. You know why it's a lie? We don't know about it. We don't have this virus well characterized. We are getting reassurances based upon no information at all. Okay? So can you catch it being in the neighborhood of someone who would expose you? And the answer is absolutely yes. So it's going to be primarily person-to-person -person contact, I think, in unexpected crowded areas. Would that include an airliner, a shopping mall, bathrooms, uh, a sports event, a entertainment event, uh, you name it. Could it be at schools? Army barracks is yes. The problem is you have to have an infected and transmissible person in the neighborhood. Now, transmissibility, that's a fun one. They've now documented that you can find active Ebola virus in a person who has recovered, you know, 30 to 40, 50% will recover. You can find it in the semen at least mm, 90 days out. That's right. I heard that, yeah. Now, now, wait a minute. Semen is one body fluid. What about all the other body fluids? Have we investigated this enough to reassure how long people have to be isolated or cut out from the herd? We honestly don't know. Okay, and in the next segment, I want to talk to Dr. Trowbridge about this. All we're hearing in the media right now, and I love his, his statement, that's who Dr. John Trowbridge is. All we're hearing in the media right now is a vaccine is imminent. We got to work on a vaccine. In Germany, they're coming up with a Come on, Americans, work harder. But wait a minute, there's a flu vaccine and millions of people get the flu. Is a vaccine the answer? So don't go away. You're listening to a guy I respect very, very much when it comes to my health, the health of my viewers, my audience, and even my own family, Dr. John Trowbridge. Thank you, Dr. Trowbridge. We'll be right back with more.